I came here to find you, to love you, and to marry you. As quickly as possible. Melanie, we will have a good life together, I promise you that. Believe me, Melanie, it's true. Don't be afraid. I am afraid. That's the truth, too. I am so terribly afraid. Isn't it strange how we keep calling him that, even after what's happened? It's not Morgan. James Forsyth went into that terrible room that night and took Morgan's body for his own. He is Morgan. We must continue to think that. Do you? Do you really believe that that man up there in that room, staring down at us, hating us because we're Collinses, that stranger is my husband or your son? Not as he is. I don't know how to bring my son back. Except to wait. Wait? Wait for what? I don't know. And how much longer must we wait? I don't know that either. You know, I used to believe that the worst thing in the world would be waiting for someone you loved. Someone you loved to die. But this is worse. Death comes. This has no end. Would you rather Morgan had died in that room? Or gone mad like the others? No. Well then, no matter how long it takes, wait and be patient. Accept what is. Accept? Accept a stranger who hates us all? He may hate, but thus far he has harmed no one. No one but Morgan. And why didn't Morgan accept? Why did he have to go in that room and take my place? Because he loved you. Remember that. Remember that he sacrificed himself for you. <laughs> don't have to remind me of what I owe Morgan. That's why I can't just accept it. I have to do something. Catherine, when my husband was the way he was, I swore that I would help, but I couldn't. There was no help this side of the grave. Only hope. You Collinses. Collinses, I can never understand you. You, Collinses? Don't forget your Collins now. Forget it? Oh, no, I won't forget it. Wherever Morgan's soul is now, wherever, whatever limbo it may be in, and however long it may be there. No, I'll never forget that I am his wife. <laughs> Well? You look tired. You should be in bed. No, I... It's late. Yes, it's too late to go visiting. I'm not going visiting. Well, where are you going then? To the village on business. At this hour, everything's closed. Not the taverns on the waterfront. There may be a man there who may know something about my ship. Oh, couldn't he wait until morning? No, he can't. Sorry, it just frightens me to think of you on the waterfront at this hour. Daphne, I'm capable of taking care of myself. Please wait until morning. By morning, he may be he may be gone. I must go now. Well, then, can I come with you? Daphne, of course you can't. You can't cling to me every minute of the day and night. Though that isn't what a marriage is. I don't mean to cling, Bramwell, but I, I hate to be alone. I'll be back as soon as I can. Well, 
You're up very late. Well, I couldn't sleep. I was passing by and I hoped somebody might be up. May I come in? Of course. Something particular disturbing you? Yes, I was concerned about Morgan. Morgan? Is his condition changed? No, it hasn't. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Are you? You know, Bramwell, your concern for Morgan doesn't ring true. Nor does your story about passing by. Well, what's happened to Morgan is a terrible thing. I'm certainly capable of some compassion, Flora. Your compassion, Bramwell, is not for Morgan. It's for his wife, for Catherine. And I will not have that. No matter what I have to do, that is something I will not have. Well, I can't deny that I'm concerned about Catherine, too. After all, we are old friends. You were friends. You were much more than friends, but no more. You were married to Daphne, and Catherine is married to my son. Thank you for your concern about Morgan. In the future, please stay away from here. Let us each take care of our own. I assure you, You for... will never assure me, no matter what you say, Bramwell. Now leave us alone. I leave told... Catherine alone. That's all she is to you. Just your son's wife. Well, she's become a Collins possession now. As far as you're concerned, you can tell her what to do. You have the right to tell her what to do and how to act. I think that if you're honest, Bramwell, you will admit that Collins are no Collins. There is only one way she can act. And what way is that? She married Morgan for better or worse, in sickness or in health. But you can't expect her to go through life in that unbearable situation? Do you think my life was bearable? But I never forgot that I was Justin's wife. And what about Morgan? Is his situation less suffering? Collinses always come back to themselves, don't they? What they feel and what they suffer. That's all that's important to you. Go home, Bramwell, where you belong. Go home to your wife who's waiting for you. I wish it could be that easy for me to turn my back on you, to let you destroy yourselves the way you deserve. But I can't do that. Because you're going to destroy Catherine, too. You're going to destroy Catherine and my... And your what, Brad? It's late. I think you... You better get some rest. Good night, Flora. Stay away from us, Bram. Please stay away. Oh. I'm sorry if I frightened you. Oh, no, it's all right. I I didn't expect anyone to be out this late. Well, I, I couldn't sleep and I decided to walk. Why should I lie to you? I didn't decide just to walk. I, I've been everywhere tonight looking for you, hoping I would find you. I won't lie either. I remembered your habit of walking late at night. I hoped that I'd see you. Our lives have, have become nothing but lies, haven't they? Oh, no, I don't want you to misunderstand me. I wanted to see you because you're... where well, you were... my truest friend. Morgan went into that room to save me. That's why I must stay here and help him. Even if he is this way for the rest of my life. You're remarkably generous with the rest of your life, considering it belongs to me. Every minute you live is mine. Just as every breath I take is yours. There is no Morgan. There never was. Other people are only shadows with, which we used to hurt each other with, to frighten each other with. That's true, isn't it? Morgan did it for me. He went into that room for me. You and I are the only real ones. 
you and I. It's you that I've always loved, and it always will be. Nothing can ever change that. Tragedy, you know that. I only know that we cannot help ourselves. Oh. Admit to me that you feel as I do. Let me hear you say it. What good will it do to say it? It's all hopeless, you know that. Let me hear you say it. I love you. I love you and I will always love you. But it changes nothing. You're married to Daphne and I to Morkin. Our whole situation is hopeless. There's no end for us, Bramwell. not been to bed. Sleeping is not one of the safest things you can do in this house. But wasn't Catherine looking after you? No. Well, where was she? I don't know and I don't care. Why are you holding that particular vase? You ask altogether too many questions. Are you aware that 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 vase is the one we use for the lottery? What is it? What's wrong? Aren't you feeling well? Marcia Faraday had just returned from the Indies. I found this in her cargo. I gave this to Brutus for Christmas. To Brutus? How, how well did you know Brutus? Who are you trying to fool? I don't understand. It was you, Constance, who introduced me to Brutus. Yes. You've always seemed to forget that. But I'm, su I'm sure that's because of your insane loyalty to him. Because you are his sister. Brutus' sister, Constance. What are you mumbling about? Nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, tell me, why, why are you so bitter about Brutus? Oh, the two of you are just exactly alike. So despicable, so deceitful. Why do you hate us so? Why do you ask such a stupid question? I'm just trying to understand. Understand? You and Brutus are totally incapable of understanding anything. You know perfectly well the reason I hate you so much. And I refuse to go in and bore the two of us because of it. Where are you going? To get away from you. As far as I can possibly get. No, no, please don't go. You must stay... Stay away from me, Constance. I'm warning you. Stay away from me. to Morgan. You are married to Daphne. Nothing can change that. Our whole situation is hopeless. There's no end for us, Bramwell.
on earth are you doing here? Um, I might ask you the same question. Well, I came to see Flora. She and I had a rather unpleasant argument last night, and I, there were a couple of matters that we left unresolved. Oh? What was your argument about? Oh, just an old family quarrel. Nothing to worry you about. I see. Well, I took a long walk this morning. A very enlightening walk. I decided to come here and speak to Catherine. You wouldn't know where she is, would you? No, I wouldn't. Oh, well. Then I'll just wait for her. Are you all right, Dad? Of course I'm all right, Graham. Well, suppose you tell me if there's anything wrong. What are you talking about? You have no idea where he went? No, he warned me not to follow him. Good morning, Daphne. Good morning. Did I hear you talking about Morgan? Yes. Yes, it seems something new has happened to him. Earlier this morning, he was convinced that I was Catherine Collins, the sister of Brutus Collins. We also became much more, much more hostile than usual. Someone should go and find him. In the state he's in, there's no telling what he might do. You don't know where he is? No, no, he, he ran out of the house. I tried to stop him, but I, I, I couldn't. Oh, if only we could find him and question him when he's this way. I. I'm sure we'd find out more about the curse. Well, I'll go and try to find him. Oh, would you? Well, I'd appreciate that so much, Bramwell. 